The following show is a paid program. Hey family, what's up? Hey, I've got a great friend of mine on today, my friend Mo Jones. He is celebrity comedian and my friend, we're going to talk about the impact of COVID on the comedy industry. Did you know something? I didn't know he was with MC Hammer for six years. Hey buddy, how you doing? What's happening? What's happening? What's, what's happening? happening? Absolutely. Hey, six years Man. with MC Hammer? Yes, sir. Six wonderful years. Absolutely. Absolutely. I wish you were in the studio. You could actually start dancing for us, but I seen you. I'm, You're doing I'm, great. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. I love it. How did we uh -huh. get to MC Hammer? Or really, how did you get into comedy? I got into comedy because you got to learn how to snap on the road. If you couldn't snap back and tell crazy stuff, you get ate up every single time. Right. So, long story short, um, I always, and a few years ago, I say it's been about 18 years now, I did my first comedy show up here in California. Yeah. And I did really, really well. Absolutely. Well, the people said, Cam, he's got to go back. He's got to tell us about MC Hammer. They forgot about the comedy part. They, wanna... <laughs> they love the dancing and the big pants and everything. I remember you were young with, before getting into with MC Hammer. You were young, weren't you? Yeah, I was 18, almost 19. Yes. Wow. I had a six pack instead of this cake. I <laughs> <laughs> love it. Love it. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, uh, it was fun, man. Um, he, um, let's see how I said it. I heard some people told me. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Okay, yeah. Out of 300 some people, he chose me. It was awesome. When I tell you it was awesome, we had so much fun. And oh, I, I know you did. Out there and do my thing. It's it, it's a lot, a lot of long. We used to practice 18 hours a day. Wow. Wow. And he wanted to perfect it, didn't he? 18. I guess we got technical difficulties. I can't hear you now. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you very well. Okay. Yeah. You sound so great. About 18 hours a day. We have a lot of fun, man. A lot of time. A lot of time away from the family. Okay. Okay, we'll be right back with Cam, your show. We'll be right back to the Cam Hill Show after these messages. Houston's only Cadillac to your door dealer, Ron Carter Cadillac, delivers test drives to your home or office. For a limited time, get $16,000 off all in-stock Cadillac 2019 XT5 crossovers and $19,000 off all in-stock 2019 CT6 sedans. Or experience the first ever 2020 Cadillac XT6 premium luxury collection. Only $519 with $1 down for 39 months lease. Or purchase and receive 0.9% APR for 72 months with no payments until November. RonCarterCadillac.com. 
When it comes to protecting yourself and your partners, all the information out there can be overwhelming. Visit our website. We are a free and confidential service, striving to help you stay informed and stay notified. We are committed to a healthy Houston. Houston's only Cadillac to your door dealer, Ron Carter Cadillac, delivers test drives to your home or office. Drive the new 2020 Cadillac XT4, only $399 a month, or the new 2020 XT5, only $429 a month, both for 39 months lease with just $1 down. Or purchase the XT4 or XT5 and enjoy 0.9% APR for 72 months with no payments until November. RonCarterCadillac.com our story begins more than 60 years ago inside an abandoned chicken coop where our founder discovered a retired teacher living no home no health care so she said no to this injustice and yes to transforming lives it's this drive this compassion that inspired aarp today we empower people to choose how they live as they age we advocate for health and financial security we strengthen communities everywhere we are aarp creating real possibility. Houston's only Cadillac to your door dealer, Ron Carter Cadillac, delivers test drives to your home or office. For a limited time, get $16,000 off all in-stock Cadillac 2019 XT5 crossovers and $19,000 off all in-stock 2019 CT6 sedans. Or experience the first ever 2020 Cadillac XT6 premium luxury collection, only $519 with $1 down for 39 months lease. Or purchase and receive 0.9% APR for 72 months with no payments until November. RonCarterCadillac.com when it comes to protecting yourself and your partners, all the information out there can be overwhelming. Visit our website. We are a free and confidential service, striving to help you stay informed and stay notified. We are committed to a healthy Houston. Oh, man. Houston's only Cadillac to your door dealer, Ron Carter Cadillac, delivers test drives to your home or office. Drive the new 2020 Cadillac XT4, only $399 a month, or the new 2020 XT5, only $429 a month, both for 39 months lease with just $1 down. Or purchase the XT4 or XT5 and enjoy 0.9% APR for 72 months with no payments until November. RonCarterCadillac.com dealer, Ron Carter Cadillac, delivers test drives to your home or office. For a limited time, get $16,000 off all in-stock Cadillac 2019 XT5 crossovers and $19,000 off all in-stock 2019 CT6 sedans. Or experience the first ever 2020 Cadillac XT6 premium luxury collection, only $519 with $1 down for 39 months lease. Or purchase and receive 0.9% APR for 72 months with no payments until November. RonCarterCadillac.com when it comes to protecting yourself and your partners, all the information out there can be overwhelming. Visit our website. We are a free and confidential service, striving to help you stay informed and stay notified. We are committed to a healthy Houston. Houston's only Cadillac to your door dealer, Ron Carter Cadillac, delivers test drives to your home or office. Drive the new 2020 Cadillac XT4, only $399 a month, or the new 2020 XT5, only $429 a month, both for 39 months lease with just $1 down. Or purchase the XT4 or XT5 and enjoy 0.9% APR for 72 months with no payments until November. RonCarterCadillac.com our story begins more than 60 years ago inside an abandoned chicken coop where our founder discovered a retired teacher living no home no health care so she said no to this injustice and yes to transforming lives it's this drive this compassion that inspired aarp today we empower people to choose how they live as they age we advocate for health and financial security we strengthen communities everywhere we are aarp creating real possibilities and now back to the Cam Hill Show. Hey, how you doing, family? Thank you so much. We were talking to Mo Jones, and we were talking about MC Hammer, how he was on there for six years. Hey, buddy, how you doing? This stuff is messing up our connection. I don't know what's going on. So let's just go on in. Man, I'm out here living, man. You out here living. Clean Christian comedy is what you do, my friend. Let's talk about it. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, I'm an ordained minister, and um, 
You know, you you can't get out here and start cussing. You know, a lot of Christians do cuss, but <laughs> cussing <laughs> Christians. Um, <laughs> I like I like messing with church folk. Yeah, church folk is one of the best people to mess with. Absolutely, absolutely. Yes, so I mess with a lot of church folks. Yeah. So, what's the difference between your clean Christian comedy and just regular stand up? Let's talk about that. The difference between clean and regular stand up, you know, I I, I I'm Bible based in my Christian comedy where yeah. I talk about everything from the Lord to not paying my tithes or paying my tithes with my weed money and all that <laughs> other stuff. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I've seen you so many times. You don't know I'm a fan. I am. And I tell you, anybody that wants to laugh, this is one of the best comics. Really, not, not, I think in the U.S. I really do. I really do. I know you put a lot of people hey, up and I you don't help want a lot of people. Of <laughs> I don't want that type of pressure. Not in the whole U.S. Maybe in my city. <laughs> Maybe in California. Or just the Bay yeah, Area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. But, and the difference between, again, the difference is, you know, I tell a lot of Christian comedy jokes. Yeah. be Bible-based in my, in my regular comedy, which I do as well. Um, yeah. I talk about a lot of things that I grew up with, getting whoopings and stuff like that, getting whooped right. with a switch, getting whooped with a stitching card. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I understand so, that. Now, you were with Earthquake about six years, huh? Yes, yes. That was the experience of a lifetime as well. How did that start? I had just, um, I've been doing comedy for a while, and right. then one day, Earthquake came to the Bay Area, mm -hmm. and, um, we got together, we talked, and, you know, I told him I was looking to do something. And then, obviously, he saw something in me that he didn't see in a lot of people. Right. Um, he told me that he will get have my uh, my manager now, Dave, uh, yeah. to get back in touch with me and see what I got, what he got going on. He did it. Mm -hmm. I had to pay for my first few years. I had to pay for my own airplane ticket and uh, my hotel stay. I heard what you said. You had to pay for it. <laughs> Sleeping comedy clubs. I feel Absolutely. like I was homeless. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now look at where you're at. Sometimes you have to, but you know what? You have to pay for your dreams sometimes, you know? Yes. You know, that was one of the things when you being a young comic, you being able to right. uh, pay your way. Yeah. And it makes it more gratifying to where I am now, to where I don't have to pay for my airplane tickets or I don't have to pay. And they pay me pretty well doing comedy shows to me to tell my own issues. Absolutely. Absolutely. Why did you choose? Now, I know you're an ordained minister. Were you an ordained minister before the comedy? No, I was just a, a bootleg Christian. <laughs> <laughs> I was I what you call a druggie. I got right. drugged to church every every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday and then all day on Sunday. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's talk yeah. about that. Man, I'm gonna tell you, my Let's mom always how you us to Bible study. <laughs> and look, my mama, <laughs> my mom used to well, she went to Bible study so long. I was like, dog on mom, <laughs> you almost been in Bible study fifty years. When you gonna graduate? <laughs> Absolutely. And then don't have that opening prayer on Sunday, and uh, you know when you right after uh, Sunday school, that opening prayer. Oh. And then he gets <laughs> down there and he starts. Ah, uh oh. We know we're down yeah. here for a while. <laughs> hey, the deacon lot first. <laughs> and don't you hate it when the deacon pray so long, make your feet go to sleep? <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know that's right. I know that's mm. right. Mm -hmm. Yes, man. But it was fun. I like church, man. Church is a wonderful thing. I mean, church ain't for everybody. and Everybody right. don't try to go to church. You know, I don't push my spirituality out for anyone. Right. I'm, I'm my own man person so i do my own thing yeah yeah but we need prayer especially now yes we do prayer especially in this day and time Woo! Jesus. i'm telling you right now we need prayer yeah, especially with this COVID, with this COVID thing and how does and i many people are asking how is it affecting your industry man i almost became a stripper again <laughs> <laughs> not a stripper <laughs> Man, 
it's a lot of my comrades, a lot of yeah. my buddies. Um, yeah. They're struggling. Yeah. We're struggling too. We're struggling because they yeah. want to be on stage. And yeah. a lot of these people, this is their only source of income. And if you didn't uh, take your money and, right. and apply it wisely, mm -hmm. um, and sometimes when we get to the point where a lot of times that we uh, spend more than you when you than you have and right. you're anticipating the next check, mm -hmm. a yeah. lot of my friends and family got caught up in that, man. Right, right, right. Because if yes. you think about it, Mo, if you're really thinking about this, okay, some people's House notes are eight to ten thousand dollars. If you're in a million dollar home, I know here I'm in real estate. So in Houston, if you got a million dollar home, ten thousand plus, that's your note if you're in a million dollar home. Okay? Ten thousand plus. Even three thousand, four thousand, twenty five hundred for apartments now. Man, if I had that, oh my God. And I know the Bay Area, California, that's a whole nother world. <laughs> Yeah, we live a whole nother world. Luckily, I bought my house a long time ago. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm good. You know, I made a lot of investments and in everything when I made a lot of MCs. I'm good. I'm right. But see, the thing about it is that a lot of people, uh, you know, traveling, that stopped. You know what I mean? Right. So no more yeah, concerts, no more, yeah, no more openings, no more ticket sales, no more, you know what I'm saying? Man, it did. A lot of these, these places had to give these people their money back. Wow. The consumers, you had to give that money back. Right, 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 right. Because you don't know when it's going to open. Absolutely. And then touring was cut off. No touring, of course. Man, man. You know, um, I was just blessed a few weeks ago to go back out in the Rover Earthquake. We went to Portland, Oregon, and we did some shows. I tell you, it was like 11, 12 people in a couple of them shows. Really? Yes. People are scared to come back. Is that what it is? Yes. And somebody coughed, and I ran off stage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling you. They are, even in Texas, I was just looking on the news. Texas, they said 100,000 people almost in just, I don't know if that was a month, hopefully it was months. You know what I'm saying? I know it was 10,000 in a yeah. day. Wow. They reported 10,000 people in one day. Wow, that's a lot of people. That's over Texas. A lot of people, man. That's a lot of people, and you put that, in, you pack in the oh hospitals. My God, that's a lot of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a lot of man, people. You know, the sad part about it is the young folk that's out here that's, um, Actually, don't want to social distance. You can't right. tell me what to do. Don't want to wear the mask. Right, man. They're they're the reason why this stuff is is running rampant. And now nowadays, in the last couple of weeks, right. it's higher than it did when it first came out. Right, 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 right. Well, they were on the beaches. A lot of people were at the clubs. They were uh, now. First of all, I'm not understanding one thing. Now you not wearing your mask, and you smoking on a hookah and we passing the hookah hookah around and the whole thing is respiratory what the anyway hey, on, <laughs> what in the world hey, hey. first of all let me tell you about the mask a lot of people start to figure out what we've been telling them a long time since they've been wearing that mask that your breath stank <laughs> <laughs> that whole thing right Ain't nobody wearing a mask. We don't. We we close to each other, sweating all on each other, coughing and pushing on each other. Man, man. And then and then you gonna hit the joint and give it to somebody else and say you hit that. Exactly. 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 We all smoking on hookah together. The only thing we passing we we Somebody's using still. different is the tip. Now we spit yeah. in the thing and every man, I was like, that's crazy. <laughs> man, I ain't never, I, you know, one of the good things is I never smoked Me, anything I mean, in my hey. life, so I'm good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we all, we're not social distancing. Even with our group, we're still on top of each other. It was so many people in one club I saw here in Houston. I mean, it was packed. Really? Young people were just on each other. Dancing and everything else, as if nothing was happening. My wife, I don't even want to be next to my wife. <laughs> I'm like, hey, hey, I'm... 
Like, baby, back up. Give me six feet. You see? <laughs> I actually saw a lady in the store. She had a sign on the back of her jacket, six feet, please. Six feet. <laughs> right. Hey, I seen somebody with a sign saying, if you can read this, you too. Close. Close. Exactly. I remember that on <laughs> I remember that on cars when people put that on cars. But I'm telling you one she thing. Had on her back. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yes. Yes. So when people find out you're an ordained minister, what type of reaction do you get? <laughs> Man, first of all, <laughs> everybody know I'm a goofball. Everybody yeah. know I'm a comedian. Mm -hmm. And it was it was really, really weird that people uh, felt that I was a minister. When I got ordained, it was like, oh, my God. Right. Really, Mo Jones? Right. <laughs> they accepted Mo? Yeah. Like I told him, you can't. You know what? You can't. You cannot tell yeah. me how I am as a man and my religion. You know, uh, right? I, I'm. I'm a very faith. I read my Bible. I don't read the Bible many, many times, and it's right. always something new in there. Even even read that same verse. It's always right. you can think about something different in that verse. Yes, 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 yes. And let's get some things straight, Pastor, Minister. <laughs> let's get some things straight in the Bible. Oh, I've heard so much. And I mean, from ministers up there, I just have to just put my Bible and look, I have to put my, my church finger up and leave on some of this stuff. <laughs> Jesus. Hey, man, but you got to understand, a lot of ministers lie every Sunday with the Bible in their hand. <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. Now, if we got, let's just say something. If we got a building fund and we've been building for 30 years, we need to leave. I'm telling you. 30 years, man, you see benevolence up there at offering. <laughs> man, hey, let me tell you about the offering. <laughs> I ain't been saved that long. You push this back, pray me one more time, pass, and it's going to come up short. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but one thing I can say, you know, yeah. um, a lot of people that, you know, that's why a lot of people uh, don't go to church because they feel they got to pay so much money. Right, right. Right, right. And with this COVID, the cover charge is something else. <laughs> <laughs> Who got a cover charge at the church, Jesus? <laughs> ah, now, let's get tithes. Understand, let's understand the tithes and what it's for. A tithe is a tenth of your earnings. God gave you 100%. All right. you ask is for the tenth. Right. You know, a tenth of your earnings is all you're doing is uh, thanking God. It's, right. it's actually his. All of it's his. Right. That's just, it's biblical. But right. But he's all he asking you for a tenth. And he wants you to manage the 90% that he give you. Right. Right. But right. A lot of people fail, fail to realize they always say they talk about it's me. They say, oh, I woke up this morning. Right. Oh, I did that. God mm -hmm. gave you the gift to do that. Like God right. gave you the gift to do to do your show. God gave me the gift to be funny. Right. It's a gift that God has given you. And all you're doing is saying, thank you, God, for my gift. Because your grace and your right. mercy, is, it never fails. And once we give that tenth, many of us are more concerned about what the pastor is doing with it. Now, that's not. That's on him. Ah. That's on his soul. <laughs> Man, you know what? Everybody worry about what the what the pastor driving. Oh, he got oh, a man. Oh, he got a this. Exactly. He got a big house. Exactly. Man, once you give your tenth, you're supposed to leave it there and yes. don't worry about what to do. Yes. A lot of people don't realize a lot of stuff that goes on in the church. Uh, you got to keep the lights on. You got to pay right the the mortgage on them churches, right. and all churches ain't paid for. Right. They're right. not. Right. That's true. That's so, true. And I'm glad you're you know, bringing you know, out the you business know, side spoke, of it. We always got to tell, figure out what the pastor is doing with that money. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah. the sad part about it is a lot of times I say in a church household, what happens is a lot of us get mad because they worry about where the money goes. Right. But if you see a sale at Macy's and you see a sale somewhere <laughs> else and you want to do something, you go buy it. You don't worry about it. You don't worry about it. You go buy it. You go buy it. That's the truth. That's the truth. Go buy it. That's the truth. If 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 the, your pastor asks you for a ten dollar donation and you go and like, look, I ain't giving you no money, but you see a pair of shoes at Macy's yeah. and pay him eighty five dollars. Come on, man. Yeah. Where's your faith? 
Yes. Where's your faith? Yes, yes. And let's talk about that. Let's talk about faith. Let's talk about that. First of all, faith without works is dead. Ooh. Faith is, is not being able to see, but to understand it. You know, the, the faith that you have faith in something. When you have faith in something, yeah. faith you can't see. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You can't see faith. Yeah. You got to step out on faith. You got to understand that your faith works through your mind. It's just yeah. your vision. It's what you think about. Mm. Because one thing that I learned where your heart is, your mind going to follow. Your body going to follow. Yes. That's yeah. biblical. That's biblical. Yeah. That's biblical. Now, let's talk about that. I'm telling you. Preaching, man. I'm telling you. But you said something. Let's go back. We got to start over. Faith without what? Uh oh. Faith without work. There you go. It's dead. Somebody's on the couch you right now. You got to put in the work. You got to put up. Oh, they're on the couch. Want a job. Come on, knock on your door. Like, hey, yeah, <laughs> come on. You got to get up. Babe, don't, don't eat. Ooh, you better say that one more time. The people in the back didn't hear you. I'm you break all these chains. You, you know, you got to break every chain. When it comes down to your faith and oh. your faith, is God gave you grace every single day that you wake up. Mm. That's God's grace. Mm. Ain't no alarm clock. Mm -hmm. You just don't pop up. God touches you because that, mm -hmm. as they say in the, in, the, in the church, that death angel passed over your house and Ooh. he allowed you another day. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. When Boy, we... you wish, I mm -hmm. wish I could sing right now. Uh huh. I wish I could sing right now. <laughs> Let's hold it for him. Let's hold it for him. Let's take a break right now. When we come back, we're going to talk more to Mo Jones. We'll be right back to the Cam Hill Show after these messages. When it comes to protecting yourself and your partners, all the information out there can be overwhelming. Visit our website. We are a free and confidential service striving to help you stay informed and stay notified. We are committed to a healthy Houston. Houston's only Cadillac to your door dealer, Ron Carter Cadillac, delivers test drives to your home or office. Drive the new 2020 Cadillac XT4, only $399 a month, or the new 2020 XT5, only $429 a month, both for 39 months lease with just $1 down. Or purchase the XT4 or XT5 and enjoy 0.9% APR for 72 months with no payments until November. RonCarterCadillac.com our story begins more than 60 years ago inside an abandoned chicken coop where our founder discovered a retired teacher living no home no health care so she said no to this injustice and yes to transforming lives it's this drive this compassion that inspired aarp today we empower people to choose how they live as they age we advocate for health and financial security we strengthen communities everywhere we are aarp creating real possibilities. Houston's only Cadillac to your door dealer, Ron Carter Cadillac, delivers test drives to your home or office. For a limited time, get $16,000 off all in-stock Cadillac 2019 XT5 crossovers and $19,000 off all in-stock 2019 CT6 sedans. Or experience the first ever 2020 Cadillac XT6 premium luxury collection, only $519 with $1 down for 39 months lease. Or purchase and receive 0.9% APR for 72 months with no payments until November. RonCarterCadillac.com and now back to the Cam Hill Show. Hey, family, we are back with Mo Jones, celebrity comedian. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Hey, hey. There we go. And we were just talking about church. I'm telling you about the Bible. Let's talk about some things people are asking about submission. Submission. Jesus Christ. My mission or the mission? <laughs> Submission. Are women to submit to their husbands? Uh-oh. Oh, see, Jesus. There's, a dip, there's, there's a trick for us. <laughs> supposed to submit. That's the way they submit like you, Ike and Tina. <laughs> That's the mission. Yes. As, and, and the Bible says, <clears throat> the man, a man's supposed to love the, the, his wife like God loved the church. 
Say it again. And, and the Bible Wait, you got to stop right there. You got to say that part again. <laughs> you got to say that part again. You got to say that part again. <laughs> a man's supposed to love his wife like God loves the church. That's passionately. Now, when I say passionately, that don't mean that, that, that that's your property. Your wife is not property. Your wife is supposed to be your help. Ooh. Mm, mm, mm. Just right there, we might have so, to open the door. We, we, get, we get this wrong a lot of times. We do. What else you want me to talk about that, on that, that mission? That right there, we could have opened the doors of the church. The ladies want you to say that one more time because men are not hearing <laughs> it, they're saying. Ooh. A man is supposed to love his wife Ooh. like God loved the church. And not God put you on here to have one wife. That is your rib. Ooh, one my wife. wife is my rib. One. The girl said, she just hit me. Yeah. She said one wife, not the mistress, not the side piece. Uh-oh. Wait a minute, hold on. The zombies might not get this corona is starving right now. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> she on Ooh. quarantine too. Oh my God. I'm telling you right now. You have hit some <laughs> you, <laughs> you have hit some things right there. We've talked yeah. faith without works. You got to get up and work. We have talked about submission. We have talked about tithes and offering. The, oh, hey, the tithes is what you owe. The gift is 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 your offering. That's a gift. That's a gift. That's if, a gift. If a preacher give you spiritual, you're supposed to give him carnal. Well, oh. I mean, if, he, if I give you something, I might expect that you don't have to. You don't have to give money. But sometimes people don't realize giving is your time, talent, and treasures. That's it. That's it. That's it. Is. That's it. It's what it is. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Now, they Nine were, talent treasures. There you go. There you go. Prayer. Prayer. And I mean it like this. When you pray, do you keep picking it up and taking it with you after you pray? Worried. You worried about it all night about the thing after you pray. Well, once you pray and you put it at God's feet, you're supposed to leave it there. If you go cool. worry, don't yeah. pray. If you're going to pray, don't worry. Say that one more time. We got to go back. <laughs> <laughs> if you go pray, don't worry. But if you go worry, don't pray. Hey, just like that. What it is. That's what it is. It's hard. Yes, that's sir. how it goes. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. Sir. That's it. That's it. going to have me start preaching. You want me to, you don't want me to go Baptist where I lose my I, Well, I, We were waiting on you. That's the whole point. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you know how the Baptist preachers they get the they get the Holy Ghost and they started get like they got ass. Yes, I am. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Hey, mm -mm. if you if you a bootleg Christian like my pastor, he can talk about. <laughs> <laughs> He'll tell them about I got sunshine uh -uh. on a cloudy day. <laughs> what is called passive, that is the temptation. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh oh, uh oh. So, what do you think about Kanye West getting jumping into this president election? First of all, Number 45 is Ringling Brothers. <laughs> it's a circus. Kanye <laughs> is Universal Soul. I saw that. <laughs> the black person. I saw that. I love it. No, I love it. Kanye, shut up. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Yo, and first of all, we ain't ready for a Kardashian to be the first lady. The Can you White see House? the Kardashian <laughs> Kim being the first lady? Now, they thought Melania, they try to tell Melania how to dress and all this kind of stuff. Man, they're gonna have Kylie Jenner turn around. And... <laughs> I just, uh, oh, I want to go back to my old self. Oh. I tell you, I tell you, can you believe that? Can you believe it? Kanye is starting for attention. That's all it is. It's right. all it is. It's starting for attention. 
It is. It is. It is. It is. Yeah. He, that's all it is. It is. That's all it is. He's just starving for attention. And, and the way he's getting his attention by saying something crazy like that. Ain't exactly. no way in the world. If Kanye become president, I'm moving to Jupiter. Yeah. <laughs> that is crazy. Can you believe that? So, and then, like you said, he's starving for attention, man. Yeah. Every time. And then he says, oh, I'm not going to be, I'm not supporting Trump anymore. What in the world? Well, because Trump just gave him, what, $400 million for his business? Exactly. Exactly. You saw how he, how he got the employed. You saw how he got the loans and all this kind of stuff. Man, you know what? You know, I, you know what? These people that have all this money, fame, and power, they do crazy stuff. That's crazy. And that's all it is. That's Sit down crazy. somewhere. We know you did. Sit down. Exactly. Exactly. And then, but nobody cares about the 40 plus million people that are unemployed. Man. That's crazy. Man, it's so many unemployed people today. And he always talking about Obamacare this and Obama plus. set us up. No, man. Obama finally got the, the whole the comedy, the economy back to where it needs to be, right. to where as he is tearing it down, he's a wicked man. That's and that's crazy. the devil himself. I'm just saying. Exactly. Um I feel though with 40 million people. Losing their jobs, and a lot of these jobs ain't gonna come back. Exactly, they got their stimulus and they're gone. They're not. They're not gonna come back at all. They're not. The thing about it is that, and then people said they haven't been looking for a job anyway because the extra six hundred dollars on top of that, they were like, Shh, "I make more money at home." Man, come on! Man. I know like five or six people that that on that unemployment and talking about they make more money at home. Chilling, they at home, feet up. And they get now they get ready to give another stimulus package. Exactly. I ain't got the first one, but I, okay. Exactly, exactly, exactly. And every day I see all of these uh, stores and things. I saw Brooks Brothers; they just filed bankruptcy. Victoria's Secret, you know, just the different stores. It's gonna be online from now on. Everything's gonna be online. Do you know who's raking in all the money? Who? The, the, what's the CEO? Is Gizzo, Gizzo from Amazon? Oh my God! Yes, that Beto. Yeah, he's doing good on that Amazon. Five billion dollars a year. Absolutely, absolutely. He sure is. He sure is. He sure is. He's made up. Him and his wife. They broke up. Look, he gave. He had to give half his money to her, and it didn't even bother him. He will never spend no, he all made of it his up in six months. Man. He will never spend all of his money in his lifetime, they see it. In his whole lifetime. No. No, come on, man. Billions you know, and, of dollars. And, and then and then you look at you look at um uh how much you know the, the minimum wage is and yes. here in California. It's so high in California, people can't afford to live. Exactly. A one bedroom apartment out here costs like twenty five hundred bucks. One bedroom. God dog. And what side and, and, and what side of town is that one bedroom? <laughs> on, the, on the worst part of town. Hey, that's what I want you to tell people so people can know. Yeah, on the worst side of town. And now this with this gentrification, they're they're moving, they take take our culture and move them from place to place to place, and they come right behind them and they move them further and further Ooh, out. And that's yes. what they're doing. On the outside, they make stuff so bad that you can't you can't afford it. And then the people, these dot coms, I mean, and buy up a price, and you get moved further and further out. Absolutely, absolutely. People got to understand what is really happening, man. It's really happening now. Now. You gotta open up your eyes to see this, see beyond. You got, you can't, you gotta take these blinders off. Because if you keep not, if you keep being uh, shallow minded and yes. don't open up your mind, while people playing checkers, you gotta play chess. Yes, 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 yes. You're right on that. The thing about it, man, we've got to educate our people. We gotta educate them and let them understand. Only way you're gonna educate them if they're willing to listen. Now that's it. That's it. That's it. 
you got to will be willing to, to take constructive criticism. And our folk, unfortunately, do not know how to take constructive criticism. Exactly. 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 I agree with you on that. We've got a story. You, know, you see out here in the Bay Area, they have these turf wars. And man, this is my, my corner. Man, you in the corner, you don't own it. Somebody else own it. Right. Right. Right, right, right. Depreciation and things that depreciate once they drive off the lot. Yes, yes. And I have a I have a few cars, and one of them is a very expensive car. And I, I'm <laughs> when you I, we drove that thing it. off the lot, I lost like twenty thousand right off of it. Exactly, but you already knew you could pay for it. What I'm saying is this: keeping up with the Joneses, you got to look at where the Joneses got their money and things. You know what I'm saying? You got to know the background. You do. You got to know the background. Yeah. Right. They could have been left money. They could have, you know what I'm saying? There's other things that could yeah. have happened. Yeah. Yes. You see my glory, but you don't know my story. Ooh, my God. That's it, man. That's it right there. Oh, Tell the truth to Shane the devil. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah. We're dying without wheels, man. We're dying without wheels. So guess what? Yes. I know the state of Texas, they glad you ain't got no wheel. Cause they ready to take the stuff. I'm telling you, they glad in Texas. Yeah, they are. Oh, they glad. Trust me, you don't you don't have a wheel with your property. They trying to find it. They trying to get that. They trying to do that eminent domain. They trying to take it. I'm telling you, what I know. Exactly. I've seen it. Exactly. And you know, and it's sad. You know what it's sad when you talk about yeah. the wheel. You know what's wrong with our culture too. Yeah. A lot of us we don't even have life insurance. Ooh. The simplest thing in the world to have. Yeah. Life is. Yes. Yes, yes. You go out there and fight Buki and Ray Ray and you lose your life. And now I got to help bury you. I, we got to do a GoFundMe. If that don't work, because a lot of times <laughs> they crook at you, you go GoFundMe and you go to the casino with that GoFundMe. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest. You got to be careful of who name to put the GoFundMe in. <laughs> Put it in Jesus' name. <laughs> I love that. I love that. They were saying that the number of deaths here is different because of the fact people are dying at home. Here, the hospitals are almost 100%. They're like 90%, 80%. You know, with COVID, you got to be careful. But you got to understand this, too. Yeah. A lot of these deaths ain't got nothing to do with COVID. Exactly. They're dying for natural causes. Yes. But what people don't realize, the underline here, yes. every COVID death, this state gets money for it. Every Say, state, the state, United States gets money for it. Exactly. People don't know that. Exactly. People don't know that. Thousands of dollars, they get it. I heard it was like 25000 or something, something, that number. Exactly. Don't quote me on that. I yeah. kind of heard that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But if they write that on your death certificate, COVID, even though you could have died a heart attack or, you know, what a stroke or whatever else, and they put COVID on there, they get they get money. The state, the United States, you know, that state does. I heard they put, I heard they put it on George Floyd's <laughs> death certificate. Don't, don't Come do on, it. Come on, man. <laughs> That's a whole nother thing here. What do you think about this right and how racial racial impact on the world? It's been there. It's just being filmed like like Will Smith said. <laughs> it's been happening. Cut and dry. He said it the best. Yeah. Racism didn't just start. It's no. always been here. It's been here. It's just being filmed like it's Will Smith said. Yeah. Man, let me tell you how how just recently I went to when I was in Portland, Oregon. Yes. Me and Ur Earthquake. I went to go get a rental car. Yes. And this lady told me that you know i have to wait until she get ready i said ma'am you work for me i don't work for you right. i said the um i said let me tell you she goes she called me she says boy you need Ooh. to wait until i come to you. Ooh, and i said ma'am let me just tell you something i said you don't know who i am i don't know who you are i said we ain't gonna go to cross their barriers <laughs> at this point i'm gonna tell you right now just do what I asked you to do. And then she went and got to uh, her uh, her boss. Well, and her boss, made, she dismissed that lady right there on the spot. Right. 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 In Portland, Oregon today in 2020. In 2020. 
This is happening. And 2020, and, and most people say 2020 is a is good vision. I can't wait to get to 2021. Can we start leap year tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> Can we go ahead and start get on the train and going over there to 2021? Hey, I'm ready. I'm ready. I don't ever want to wish my life away. Right. But come on, man. This year, and I'm going to tell you, everybody, I'm going to put this out there. Please vote. Yes. If you want Woo! your voice heard, go out there and vote. Because any time that you don't vote is a vote for the other side. Yes. We got to talk about that. We got to talk about that. I know here in, huh. yeah, I know here in Texas, if you have a felony this is in texas but you are not on paper you are not on probation you are not on you know you're not waiting for the courts and but if you are off i know a client of mine she has a felony over 30 years a 30-year felony that she got 30 years ago she hadn't voted in 30 years thinking she could not wow you can vote you can vote it's you millions it's millions that are out there just like that, and they can vote. Yeah, they can vote. They can vote. Hey, use your kid's name. <laughs> you, you use it for everything else. <laughs> and I tell vote, vote, vote locally, too. Local judges. Yes. You might be in front of one of them judges. You need something. <laughs> Hey, you know what else, too? They try to shut down a lot of the polls so you can't go and vote. Exactly. 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 They want you to do the mail-in ballots. A lot of this mail-in ballots. Yeah. yeah. You know what? And that's nothing but the trick of the devil. You know, if, if you don't, you, sometimes you have to get outside your comfort zone to do certain things. Yeah. Because if you hear, okay, do it. No, dig into it. Ask questions why. You know, and, and I would say we we won't not because it's not ask. We have to ask questions. Yes, you have to ask. It's important, and in this time is critical. We on life support. Yes. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all. Yes. We you, let number forty five be in there four more years. We gonna be in trouble. We we exactly exactly. You think we got a problem now? You let him in another four more years. Man. But but let me just tell you this. And I'm being totally honest. Yeah. He is he is his own demise at this point. He is literally exercising himself. Yeah. He is tearing he's tearing this stuff. Even when you start seeing rich people start going, I ain't dealing with him. Yes. And, and the people, anybody that went up against him is gone. Yes. 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 Absolutely. 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 I pay attention. I watch the news. Yes. And I use my mind. This yes. is the most valuable thing you, most people don't use. This yes. right here. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Man. That's why they don't want people to read. Remember, they were just, they would beat slaves and things like that if they found out they could read. Read. Yes. Read. Mind. Read. Yes. Yes, exactly. You know, that's why I teach my grandkids to read early. Early. Because at the end of the day, if anybody that, that don't take advantage of this of someone trying to help them shame on you right if you don't know and you don't do an extra homework to find out certain to find out or dig deeper to a uh yeah a deeper answer shame on you yeah 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 and the thing about it mo what's so crazy the bible read it read it for ourselves like they say read it for yourself know it for you exactly the bible speaks of these things right Ooh. now that's happening today the Bible everything. Speaks of it. Everything. You gonna have money. Can't have. It, it ain't gonna have no no no. You can't use to buy food. All our foods are getting getting tampered with. Uh, you can't even buy certain people buying these fruits and vegetables and everything that's going on. They talk about these pandemics, man. You better look at the Book of Re Revelations, bro. It's it's in there. It's it's in there. It's in there. It's in there. It's in there. What would you like to tell people? leave with people right now i'm sorry say again what would you like to leave with people your views on how the world is and also uh dreams they have dreams and they want to go 40 million people let's think about this they've been laid off but they still have that dream of doing something their purpose because this is their purpose they have a purpose right. and they say how do we get to our purpose 
Because your purpose as an ordained minister, you're an ordained minister, but you're a comic also. But you're able to relay that to people through comedy. Know your purpose, find your purpose, yes. and study your purpose. Mm -hmm. Then there are three keys. Know your purpose. Know it. Know, know, study your purpose and try to find yeah. what you the best thing you could do for each and every one out there because everybody has a gift. Yes. And you gotta know your purpose. You gotta know your wealth. You yes. gotta know within yourself what you're capable of or what you're not capable of. Yeah. And the things that you are capable of, go out and do it. Do the, mm -hmm. Go the extra mile. Don't be lazy with your own purpose. It's just, it's, you only hurting oneself, and that is you. Right. And as a comic, I could be funny about it, but sometimes, you know, a lot of people don't realize comedy is a the things that we feel in our comics, and all we do is put a twist on it and right. make it funny. Right. That's all it is. Right. You could t I could turn take tragedy and turn it to funny because it doesn't happen to me right. many, many times. Right. Pay attention to a comic because a comic will tell you the truth. Right. You might not want to hear it or you might laugh it, laugh it off. So oh, he's being funny. But when you do your homework, he go, oh, he was telling the truth. Absolutely. 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 So this is the time not to stop and lay on the couch and say, woe is me. This is the time. That's what you said. Faith without works. It's dead. Yes. Now it's not time to sit on the couch. No. Now it's time to stand up. Now, yes. First of all, you stand up for oneself first. Yes. Then you, if you can't help yourself, you can't help nobody else. Mm. Point blank. Mm -hmm. Stand up, help yourself, get yourself into a position where you can move forward. Because a lot of times we need to progress when we regress them. There you go. And that's the problem. That's a major problem. Yeah. That's, that's what it. it is. That's it. That's it. That's it. Don't be lazy. Now is not the time to be lazy. Now is the time to be diligent in what in your meaning and your purpose. That's it. My friend, what's your website? How people can cut look you up? I'm not gonna say hit contact. Me at you. Mojo <laughs> Entertainment. <laughs> and you can hit me and follow me on Instagram. I am Mojo. Yes. And you see that little bald head of mine. <laughs> yes. And, and he if has you want to book me for a show. Entertainment. Yes. That is my management team. Shout man, out today. I had so much fun. Me I too. I appreciate you, man. Lord knows. We got to do this again, man. Man, we got to. I love this, man. Mo Jones, you are the best, buddy. Shout out to Dave E. With That's it. My boy. See you. God bless you. God bless you. Hey, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in with me, staying with me, hanging with me. Next week, I'm going to have Yarbrough and Peoples. I'm going to have Andre Savelle. Man, I'm going to have Lloyd Hughes. Man, I've got a lineup you don't want to miss. Teresa Grayson. I've got some of the best people. Mary Griffin. You got to stay. Talk to you next week. Have a good one. Bye.